back. Well, we have Jeff Parker here to give us the latest and greatest since Monday. And here we are already at Friday. Can you believe Good morning, it? Lisa. <laughs> Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday. All right, so you've got some COVID numbers and some other Laguna Woods stuff for us. Yeah, on, on the uh, COVID numbers, um, we, we've seen a little uptick, uh, unfortunately, and I, I wanted to report that. Uh, with regards to hospitalizations and ICU numbers, we've seen a little uptick just recently. Mm -hmm. And um, with hospitalizations, it went up from 155 on Monday to 172. Mm. So that's an increase in our ICUs went from 47 up to 62. Mm. So again, basically about 15 in number um, uptick. Um, and what it reports when you look at our big page back here, um, unfortunately, we had uh, 14 additional deaths in Orange County. Now, I wanna make it real clear for everybody that watches this stuff, 11 of those were in a skilled nursing facility mm. of some type. Um, and one of them was in an assisted living. So there were only two in normal residential okay. um, and not one of them was in uh, okay. the city of Laguna Woods. Okay. But it, it goes shows that that high risk category of people is yeah. still the ones that are most affected by these hospitalizations and these ICUs. So yeah. uh, that's concerning. Because what we talked about money about this uptick a little bit, if you see the daily um, um, positive cases per 100,000 is now at 5.2. Mm -hmm. It was in the fours, it was trending towards it's the threes. threes. Yeah. And so now it's back up 5.2. That's gonna be the trigger mechanism for us getting into that um, third level of moderate. So right. gotta change that direction. Um, Absolutely. That's going to be critical to work, again, wearing the mask, uh, the precaution. But I think a lot of that is, this is a rolling seven day average. And I think we're in a sense seeing some of that last tail end of that activity that happened over the long weekend. Right. And, and that impact. Um, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll see that trend back in the direction that the, the county wants it to. You know, it's interesting because every time we have like a weekend <clears throat> that's a long weekend or a holiday weekend, we see these kinds of things happening. So most likely we might even see that happening again coming up for the holidays too. And that's a big concern that the, the medical industry has and in wanting to make sure that people get out there and get their flu shots, Right. Um, which is real important now. Mm -hmm. um, now that October's here and the flu season starts, especially for the elderly. Mm -hmm. um, but it is so critical that, again, a comprehensive process is wearing your mask, social distancing, get your right. flu shot, because you're right, we're gonna run into Thanksgiving, um, mm -hmm. Halloween, yep. um, and obviously the Christmas holidays. Um, right. So those are, those are when we wanna get together as families and, mm -hmm. and groupings, and so that's the strategy that we have to take and make sure that we're safe out there. Exactly, exactly. Well, thank you for going over that. I mean, I know it's not the greatest news, unfortunately, but it's good to keep on top of it because it helps us to sort of take a step back and say, well, okay, so we can't move to the next level yet because of this, rather than being all anxious about it. Right. With regards to the, the village and the city of Laguna Woods, though our numbers are at 69, it was 67 and went up okay. a couple, mm -hmm. um, but we're not, as a number-wise, we're not anything like so many of the other communities in Orange County. So oh, yeah. I appreciate the, what the residents are doing out there to, to follow the, the, the mandates that we've asked them to do with regards to wearing uh, the mask and social distancing. It is really, really important. And Absolutely. I appreciate their efforts. Absolutely. This is, a, this is kind of here where he's going through a couple different things right. here. That's interesting. You know, it's, I really like this website. It, I think they've done such a good job and, and they've just really come around to giving us so many different things. And the nice thing is you can, as you can go on there, you can click on specific dates and it can tell you exactly right. the numbers and those dates. And yeah. so that, that is really um, a lot of information now that they didn't have at the very beginning. Right. And I think the, the more information we can present the, and the more transparent we can be mm -hmm. um, to the residents of Orange County and to certainly the ones here in the village, the better it is. Yeah, I mean, it just going, and this is the this is the OCHCA dot, well, this is MAPS, so this is within the one website that we were giving you, um, you know, information regarding, the ones that we gave earlier. So, good stuff. I mean, thank you. This yeah. is good information, Definitely. more than anything. So. Every week. <laughs> every week. Every week. We're here to just tell you like it is. Exactly. <laughs> All right, and then speaking of that, we've got some events that are happening here in the village, and 
openings. Yeah, so last week, we, and we talked about it on Monday, um, opening the Pool 4 expanded hours um, on Monday. And coming on this next Monday, on the 12th, we'll be expanding our hours and operation opening up pool number one. Exactly. Um, that reservation system is in place so people can make call in and get their reserve times. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, there obviously there's always a crunch to have the, the, the best time. So um, look at your schedule. If you have more flexibility, the better you are in, in getting a reserve time with regards to uh, swimming. But by uh, adding the hours for pool four, and then adding pool one into the mix, we're gonna be able to accomplish um, adding additional hours and operations for the people in, in their desire to go out and swim. Well, and that's great because, you know, from what <clears throat> we understand, you cannot contract coronavirus in the pool. So wearing your mask still when you are there, and then once you get into the water, you can take your mask off and then you just swim. And there's social distancing. We mm -hmm. got the lanes, um, right. so we feel we feel like it's a good, safe environment. Mm -hmm. And then we're cleaning up in spring um, mm -hmm. down the areas that people are touching. So we're having that done on a regular basis. So I think we're in a, a pretty good shape with regards to the pools. Excellent, excellent. Now you did mention that everyone <clears throat> is people are utilizing the fitness equipment but certain hours are not really being taken advantage of. Right, so we opened up the outdoor fitness equipment area and trying to get more people active and outdoors. What we found is so far, and this is early in this process, is that a lot of interest in going from nine to 12 in the morning, um, but before nine o'clock and after 12, we have a lot of capacity and availability. So I just wanna get the word out. Um, if, you, if you like going down and using our gym, um, get your reservation in early. Uh, if you don't get that 9 to 12 slot, think about going earlier or think about coming later, and there is availability. Well, I'm assuming that is weather dependent because, unfortunately, next week, <coughs> starting Monday, we are going to be a little hotter. And, and that's why it's covered. The area is covered where we, we put the machines out so that we, right. we're not as hot and not in the direct sun. Mm -hmm. So that will help facilitate that. Excellent. The other thing I wanted to mention was we have on October 21st, one of our first concert. Um, drive-in uh, theory and that is from uh, on October 25th from 2 to 4 and I just wanted to mention that because when I talked to Brian just yesterday we're getting really close to selling that out so I wow. want to make sure that people who are interested in that it's five dollars um, bring your golf cart or your car and there's space around your car to get out and 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 dance to the music so we want to encourage people to do that and so um, if you're interested um, and you want to buy a ticket, please contact our reservation um, process by calling our recreation department. And okay. the number is 597-4273. Okay. Or they can go online with recreation at bms.inc um, okay. or point inc and, and, and .org. And so either way, they can then uh, get their reservation in and get their um, purchase of their ticket and make sure that they uh, don't get sold out. We're gonna have five of these over oh, the good. next few months. Good. So, um, but if they're interested in this one, uh, call Recreation today. Excellent, I love it. And then you can also go on the website, which is lagunawoodsvillage.com, uh, and then they can go to recre amenities, right. recreation, scroll down, exactly. and that'll have the information too. Oh, that's fun. I'm glad you guys are, are doing well with that one because yeah. you know a lot of people wanna get out and do some fun stuff, exactly. so I think that's perfect. Excellent. Well, what else? Anything else? Well, I just was going to reiterate what you said earlier on the show is that oh, we have right. a big day today. Big day. Um, and it's Meet the Candidates Day. And it's also, um, with regards to third, talking about their CCNRs and their bylaws. Yeah. So a lot of information for our residents to tune in to and watch on Channel 6 to get that information with regards to uh, seeing who the candidates are um, for GRF and United. and. Or third, meeting the two new board members because they had it by acclamation, but mm -hmm. they're really going to focus on the CCR and bar bylaws. Right. So it'll be a big full day for everybody here in the village. Most definitely. All right. Well, great. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday. Sounds great. Thank you. All right. And remember, we do have a big meeting day today, and I will go ahead and reiterate those times uh, later on in our broadcast. We'll be right back. <laughs>